Welcome back to my channel! Today's look, as you can see, is a more natural but still sexy smoky eye look with a very natural looking red lipstick if you are living for this look, which I think is just perfect year round. This look just goes. The glow, if there's sun, it's gonna look nice. If there isn't, you're still glowing. So who doesn't like a glowy face? So guys, if you are interested in seeing how I created this natural smoky eye brownish glittery look, then keep on watching and have fun! Okay you guys, first things first. So we are starting to prime the face with the Benefit for Professional Face Primer. So I'm getting a decent amount, of the size of a pen onto my finger. And just massage it on to my entire skin and neck. Okay, face is primed, so next is foundation. We are using the Maybelline 24 hour foundation. Mine is the shade 110 Porcelain, so we're gonna shake it up real quick. Put about a little bit onto the back of my hand. Take a damp beauty blender, take my Jeffree Star mirror, and just start working it all over the face. So, the foundation is all over the face. Next, we are going to conceal, and I like to use the Makeup Revolution Concealing Define. Concealer. This is the shade C2. We're just gonna dab it under the eyes, on the nose, tip of the nose, cupid's bow, chin, and a little on the forehead. So once you're as pretty of an avatar looking creature like me, you just take the damp beauty sponge again and just blend it in. is blended out nicely. Step to finish this face is setting powder. So we are using the Makeup Revolution Bake and Finish Luxury Baking Powder in the shade Baking Powder Ghost Finish. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So I just like to open it up, squeeze a little product into the cap, take a angled big kabuki brush. This is the Sigma F89 and just dab it in. Oh, it doesn't really fit. Get some excess powder off. Oh, I see it coming. We're gonna look like a ghost. <laughs> and just dab it and work it into everywhere that you just used to conceal. We got the setting powder on and just let it sit for a couple of minutes. The concealer has been set with the setting powder for quite some time and I like to take a big, big, big fluffy powder brush and some loose powder. This is by Ellen Betrix. And I just like, let's open her up first, huh? I just like to gently dab in and work it on top of the setting powder while sweeping it away so it blends in better with the skin because we are very ghostly at the moment. So let's just keep on blending. And we are done blending the powder. Once we're done with, you know, powdering the face again, we are going to bronze the face and we are using the Hula Bronzer by Benefit Cosmetics. So we're gonna open it up and just take any kind of bronzer brush that you like, prefer to use. Dab in and just contour your face. In case you think you went a little wild with the bronzer, you just take your fluffy powder brush and just blend it in with your skin. 
Once you're happy with your contouring, we go over to do blush. We're using the Tarte blush in the color Captivating, which is a very slightly pinky tone. It's very cute, very subtle. So it's just gonna be some, you know, light rosiness on your cheeks. So we're dabbing in. And just work it in. And this is it so far. So since we're ready with the face, it is time for eyebrows. So let's get started. I like to use the Benefit Cosmetics Cabrow Eyebrow Gel. So it comes with a little brush. Make sure you keep it nice and angled so you can really imitate with small streaks your natural eyebrows. So I'm just dipping into the pod. Grab my mirror and just start filling in my brows. So now since we're done filling in the brows, it is time to set the eyebrows. So I like to use the Benefit Cosmetics 24 hour brow setter. It's just a clear gel that you just pop on top. So yeah, brows stay in place. And now we're ready for eyeshadow. Before we apply any eyeshadow, we're starting with the primer. I like to use the Urban Decay Original Eyeshadow Primer Potion. So we're just taking a fair amount of the wand, apply it to the lids, and just, I just generally use my finger and just, you know, spread it out. Okay, our eyelids are prepped, so let's get started. Today, we are using the Naked 2 palette by Urban Decay. I've had this for a while. It's it's just great. Like, the colors are nice. You can do so many different nude looks with it. So that's what we're using today. So to start off, we are taking just a regular, bigger eyeshadow brush. And this is a Zikma E. 60 and we're just going into the shade foxy tap in and just apply it all over your eyelid up to the brows since we're done with that the next step is to use a big fluffy blender brush I'm using the Zigma E40 just a regular blender brush works and we tap into T's. So we tap in, get the excess off and just start blending in the crease. Done with blending T's. Next we're keeping the same brush and we are going to go into Busted. Oh! Mm -hmm. And just do the same, just try to keep it in the crease and just blend it in with cheese. Done with that. So next we're going in with a different brush, which is going to be a very, very fine blending brush. This is a shader crease in E47. So we're just gonna gently dip into blackout. It's a very black color. Like it's very, very black. It also has a bunch of fallout. So you just wanna dip in like once, get the excess off, and then just keep it on the outer corners to get, you know, this like smoky outer corner. the black eyeshadow out we are going to start moving towards the center of the lid so I like to take this is an eye shading brush in E55 but I like to use it as a packer brush for glitter eyeshadow that I like to you know put on my lid so we're gonna go in with hmm Ooh, yes suspect 
where we're just gonna get pigment onto the brush. And just tap it on. Next is the under eye. So I like to use a teeny tiny pencil brush and just dab it into T's. Next, we're dabbing into Busted. Looking good so far. And the last step is just take any small eyeshadow brush, just a flat brush, and we're gonna go into Booty Call. So, I like to take a little bit of Booty Call and just put it onto my brow bone. And then I like to put it onto the inner corners of my eyes. Eyeshadow is looking good. So let me curl my lashes, apply some mascara, and I'll be right back, guys. Lashes are on. So we are going to go in with the highlighter. The highlighter we're using today is one of these Manizer Sisters by The Balm. I am just gonna go in with the Mary Luminizer, which is the lightest shade. So that's what we're gonna do today. So I'm gonna just take my regular everyday highlight brush, dab in, and get this face shining. Face is glowing and shining, so now let's move on to the lips. Of course, the lipstick we're using today is one of Jeffree Star Cosmetics liquid lipsticks in the shade Calabasas. So we're just gonna shake it up and apply the liquid lip. Lips are on and we are ready to set this face, guys. So I'm taking my favorite setting spray of all times, the Urban Decay All Nighter. So we're just gonna give it a shake. And set this face. Oh, yes. Well, we are done with this look. So everyone, this is, you know, my smoky but still natural eye look. I hope you guys like it. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to leave it a thumbs up. Click on the subscribe button because I'm going to be uploading once a week. And yeah, that's pretty much it. I don't need to ramble on more. So have a good day, guys. And bye. See you next time.